<laughs> oh, God, I love it. Red Solo Cup. <laughs> if that I isn't a dorky you. song, I have no idea what is. Oh, yoy, 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 yoy. Guess what? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay. We are on the dork table right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're alive and in poison. And you're you traumatized. Crazy Gram Z. I am. I'm that crazy Gram Z, and you're that crazy Flash Rooney dork. And oh, yeah. yeah. We're here on the real libertymedia.com channel three. Also on the RLM all over the place, like TuneIn and Internet Radio and BitChute. Booyah! Bit we'll shoot. later be on BitChute yeah. and yeah. on YouTube. And we're also on Spreaker. Woo woo! Woo woo! Hey. I, I like Spreaker. I do, too. I do, too. Of course, I, I'm easily, you know, amused. Ah, easily. Well, don't be saying easily, because then Vinny will go, you said yeah, welcome, easily. Vinny. Yeah, well, yeah, he's <laughs> copyrighted the name, but not the word. Oh, hey, there ah. you go. Yeah, he'll be seeing me in court soon. Mm. Yeah, in, well, yeah. I think court. my people own the word easily. Oh, so you're going to be court and Vinny, huh? <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> no. But he did ask me to do a, a program with him the other day about something. Ah, cool. I think it was more up the lines like with Larry Woods. It was more uh, serious and had something to do with Waco. Oh, okay. And I'm not a, like a Waco expert or tech expert, but I know enough about what I saw and memorized that I saw to uh, hold my own in a conversation. Ah, there you go. But but first, you but must first, say hello I to must... all the RL and Emmers. Well, yes. And over here on Twitter, thank you, Barman, for tweeting us out over here on Twitter. And I that. shared us over on Fakey Book, but nobody's really paying attention. They're doing their Catter Day thing over on Fakey oh, Book. Oh, oh, they're doing the Catter Day thing, yes. Yes. Okay. Mm, yes. Mm. And over on Mines. Hey, Mines. How are you doing? Good. I've been here 2017 is paying attention. And so is Mental. And if a few you other don't people. mind, it don't matter. That's right. Mind over matter. And let's see, over here on this effing site. Hey, hey, Effin hey. Y'all over here on Freedoms Network. Let's see, me and Grim and Katie Troxel and Michael and uh, Laid In. Uh, how's Z Blaze doing, my old buddy? Oh, Ooh, I have no idea. I haven't, yeah. I, I blocked him <laughs> early on. You I know. That's why I like to call him that, my mm. good friend. Because, mm. you know, yeah. Oh, Grimmy says wow. that it, Vinny ain't here, so it's public domain for now. There you go. Ha ha, Vinny. Ha. Okay, and over here in the RLM, which is where you need to be if you want to give us static. Uh, static. <laughs> what? That's, yeah. that's my favorite part of it. I know. We got Barman right up top. The most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. Uh, cowboy Tech. Yeah, hey, cowboy, cowboy Tech. Yeah. I hope he is hearing some pleasant voices. I also see Grimmy is here, the RLM god. Grim nerd. Grim nerd, as well as the lovely Kate is in the house. Hey, Miss Kate's here. Well, and okay. Asmo. And, Asmo? Yeah, cool. yep. Asmo and Beth Z. Asmo. And Chalcedoni. Chalcedoni. And Soikles. Soikles. Oh, hello, oh. honey. Yeah, but she's sleeping. Oh, she's, well. Yeah, fingers. Fractured fingers is napping through my program. Yeah. See how she <laughs> is. Damn it all. <laughs> No tea for you. <laughs> well, and I just changed my name to Graham's Dork. Cause, yeah, <laughs> I was a little slow on the uptake here. Um, it's, yeah, yeah IB Don C is double dipping again. Hey, He's waking and just being a solo kind of solo chatter. Yeah, um, well, we may get single Chloe's, but we'll get doubles from other people. Yeah, but we don't right. even have a Chloe in here right now. Yeah, she's probably mad at us. Oh. Probably mad at you for for being, you know, uh, whatever you are. <laughs> well, it's either you or me, right? 
Oh, that's okay. Or either that or she had something to do because I think she was chattering about going somewhere or doing something. Well, her the connection was reset up. by peer, so whatever that is. Uh, either the weather's clearing up or people needed something. Ah, who knows? Out. They needed out. No, I also see the dog that needs out. Oh, Java, 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 Java Doctor 2 Java is Doctor. in the house. Hey, yeah. Java. As well as, let's see, Jay Dredd. Hey, Hansel. Hey, Hansel. And poor and, Hansel. I know, he gets so picked I, on. He bumped his little Nazi head on the brick wall. Oh, oh so, Nazi, so N-O-T-S-E-E. -E. Mm. <laughs> he did not see the wall and boom, in the head. Yes. I also see <laughs> right. JJ's is here, and JJ's was active over on Twitter earlier today, too. JJ's. Uh, Juana Taco Juana is Taco. here. Hey, cool. As well as the lovely Rain Juana and RLM Taco. Fluke. I know. <laughs> yeah, when moisture comes down here, it uh, tends to be snow yet because it's burr. Freaking burr. And uh, I, I finally did find oh, the Oh, God. Fluke. Oh. Ugh. And uh, uh, now that. Stop that, it. Who, Stop it. Who, Stop who, it. Who is there? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Hi, Fluky. <laughs> Hi, Rob Works. I see you're logged in, but I don't see you titty chatting and I don't see you bubbling. Hey, he could be. He could be. I also see trusty hat. number one or no hey, one. No. Yeah. And Beetle. Hi, Beetle. Hey, Beetle. Oh, he's going to make some chicken soup. Sweet. What time's oh. supper? <laughs> I'm going to my daughter's for supper. Sorry. All right. It'll be. It'll be cold by the time you got there anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Colder oh, well. in another dimension. <laughs> Ooh, that's true, too. How long can you keep soup warm? <laughs> um, well, if you it's, got a wood-burning stove, just put it on but, top and it'll stay. Yeah, it would start to turn into other shit, though. <laughs> well, it after a while, layers. yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a, well, science! drive from kansas to wherever that is <laughs> yeah that would be a that yeah that would be on the burner a long time it might be burned i also see dakota and dimma and flasher the co-host and frumpy hi frumpy i don't know why whenever i say frumpy i go frumpy or you know it's like because it reminds you of how you dress around the house oh that could very well be I would bet money on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. The old frumps. Yeah, because I am kind of dressed frumpy right now. Um, Sweet. Yeah, yeah, still in my jammers. I also see Gooberzilla's in the house. Hey, Goober. Goober. Uh, computers are fine for monitoring, but I would have designed an override. Oh, there you go, yeah. Um, it would be cool to be able to tell them, no, you can't peek at what I'm doing right now, you assholios. I also see uh, Kozu uh, is in the house. Hey, Kozu. Well, that was a mouthful. I know. I know. And Moy, that's oh. one of those you don't say. Hi. <laughs> 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 and Nensen Dubois. <laughs> and Poxified and Pon Sauce. And Poxy Phantom. Fox. Is still logged the, in, but Phantom doesn't chitty chat phantom. much. I know the it's a phantom. Oh, oh, damn it! Right, the phantom. The installation for spring has failed. It's not available in your area, obviously, since I have snow on the ground. Well, damn that it. doesn't apply to me because I got sun in the sky. So nan and nana boo boo. Well, I got sun in the sky too, but it's like, damn it. Of course, it's supposed to get up to, you know, 43, 44 today. And then tomorrow, yeah. 63. Booyah! Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking and forward then to. And then in a week, you'll be bitching because it'll be in the 90s. Yeah, because I just plain, I ain't happy unless I'm bitching. We're doing reruns here with the weather, I'm telling you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Go up. Boy, I'd like to kick Al Gore right in the nuts, Mr. <laughs> Global Fucking Warming Climate Change. I need to fly around the world all the time, piece of shit. Yeah, well... It's a long name he's got there, too. Yes, it is. It's a very long name, but... Liked yeah. him better when he was this old Al Gore and nobody knew who he was. Good old Al. Good old Al. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's so yeah. many people that went to school with him at Harvard. Harvard. At Harvard. Yes. Hey, that's we didn't get Colfax 101. 
No, because Colfax 101 is Ninsun Dubois' alter ego. Well, we didn't get any damn pancakes. No, we didn't. Wow. Where the hell is cakes? Damn it. I don't know. Damn it. Hansel stays, we get no cakes. Well, I guess life is fair after yeah. all. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> the balance of life. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? It's 1113, <laughs> no. and I made it through all the names. Hot. I know. Diggledy that's, dog. That's because you're the only one left with snow, and everybody else has got good weather and went out to do something. Oh, hey, there you go. Well, I'll be going out to do something as soon as I get done on the radio because, yeah, loading up, pick up, and hauling a day bed to my daughter. So, yeah. Uh, was that bragging or complaining? Bragging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. It's a dirty so, job, but somebody's got to do it. So you're you're back in the you're back in the moving business. <laughs> yeah, moving furniture. Uh, hey, well, moving. it was it was her day bed. And then when she moved again, she decided she didn't want to take it. And so when I moved, I took it. And she's finally decided that now she wants it back. And it's like, okay, fine. I will get it to you. Thank you very much. You just freed up some room in my house. So. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. Did yeah. you know I found a group that I might want to think about joining? Oh, my God. Yeah, I never heard of a group like this before. Are you ready? Yeah. It's called the Slow Death Society. <laughs> 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 and there's no requirements. Everybody can be in one, in it. Just say, I'm in it. There you go. So now I'm a, a member of you know, good standing in the Slow Death Society. <laughs> All righty. Well, good for you. <laughs> See how hey. you are being such a joiner and everything. Yeah. What's what's the difference between a Jew and a Jesuit? Mm, one's Catholic and the other one's Jewish. No, nobody blames the Jesuits for being a pain in the ass yet. Not yet. It's, well, it's not there. See, it goes in cycles, right? When I was a kid, it was the biggest, horriblest fucking thing to be a Catholic. Mm, yeah. It almost, it all publicly, it almost cost old uh, Mr. Uh, Kennedy the uh, the seat there, and then in the in the White House. Yeah. Because he was the first Catholic that had ever run to hold that seat, and at the time, the public's opinion still had the appearance of mattering. Yeah. yeah. Outside of did the fucking football team cheat, or was it just their management? <laughs> Um, was it the coaching staff? Who knows? I think it was the coaching staff. Hey, you know yeah. what? I was scrolling on minds while you were talking. I know that shocks you. You always do. You I know. know. I know. But I saw this link, and it says U.S. has 3.5 million more registered voters than live adults. <laughs> I find that quite possible. I'll, I mean, I'll bet they're they all got. Democrats, too. Yeah, but look who that. See, there you go with that crap. But look at who they got. It's not. It's beyond ridiculous. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, Donald. Nothing personal, but Donald fucking Trump or Hillary was like, well, do you want brown or dark brown? Um. There, or... Well, you know, it's, there's a difference, but only to the well-trained eye. Everybody else just sees the same thing. Everyone else just sees brown because, you know, they all look the same. Well, I'm I'm speaking for the non-voter. The non-participant in the game needs a voice. And I've chosen to be that voice. Oh, and hey. And I will say, one thing we have in common about not voting is they offer the same piece of shit in a different shade on both sides of the damn table. So you're getting the same thing no matter which way you vote. And the non-voter... More than likely, they think like I do, don't like either of them. And I say don't like on purpose because it's bad grammar. Ah, I don't like them neither. That's right. But, mm. so, all right, so holding that idea, right? But there they are in our face every day. Now, my thought is that is just like a movie or a TV show. 
And we're just seeing the people that the news people present to us as national leaders. And they tell us the shit they want us to know about what happens in other places. And that's yeah. it. Some of it's true. Some of it ain't. Figure it out. Well, it's because the winners are the ones that write the history books. Or at least the history books that everybody hears or reads. Right, well, okay, well, knowing that doesn't seem to change a whole fucking lot. No, it doesn't. But knowing that the events are all fraudulently based seems to make a, a little bit of a tie between a group of us in the group. We have a subgroup group mm -hmm. on the RLM group. Uh, okay. Uh, Chloe's yeah. back. Oh, we got Chloe Singular. Hey, Chloe. Yeah. Anyhow. Anyhow. Anywho. Now, there... You knocked me off my idea. Amy. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's ha, what ha, I do. Ha, ha. Aren't you funny? <laughs> yes, I am. And so, your idea. That I just lost because you interrupted me with Chloe Chloe. Ah, That's well. only Chloe singular. Okay, so. Do it to you every now and again, so ha, ha, ha. There you go. There you go. Is a bitch. Anyway. So, seeing as how I knocked you off, how about I do this? A flow chart oh. to determine what religion you should follow. Nah, they're all crap. Uh, what I was getting at is well, they, they parade a, 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 a group of people on television and mainstream internet, all this information that we get, and all you know of the great leaders of the world. Mm -hmm. And all the wonderful shit they do. Uh huh. Well, how come people don't get that? They don't do any wonderful shit anywhere except for themselves. Why are you allowing this? What, what should I tell you? What I suggested, if you want to fix America, I got a pure. I had a fucking answer. I'll solve it in twenty minutes. Really? Yeah, it's horrible. Hmm. Yep. Okay, and so. What is your answer? Well, I say that people talk a big lot of shit and they don't really fucking mean it. But on the other hand, there are psychos out there in fucking La La Land that think they know what they're doing. And if a thousand of these idiots could get together and go to Washington, D.C. and do something and quit talking about doing it or not doing it, then things would change. It would take a, an armed conflict of some kind or another that's not staged by government to control gun laws, bullshit like that. I mean, a real – people have had enough. We're going to change this. Yeah, well – Push just come to shove. I mean, fuck, they're poisoning everybody in every possible way they can legally get away with. And then – And even what? ways that they – Really, legally cannot get away with, but they're still getting away with it because they, okay, they'll well, just change enough. the laws. They'll shoot you in the and make you disappear. Well, yeah. The government is too big. It's growing. The two what million fucking government, it's federal government employees. That federal government needs like twelve employees so that we know what those twelve cunts are doing all the fucking time and to who. Instead of all this two million get federal employees, it's all backwards. Yeah. Yeah, it is yeah. bass backwards. Yeah. That is for damn right. sure. But I think 12 of them would be enough. And, and if anybody did anything wrong, they got fired and had to be replaced immediately. Ah. You make a mistake, get the fuck out. You're done. You had your chance. Thanks for your service. No, you never work in office again. See ya. Just rotate them every two years. <laughs> every yeah. fuck up or every two years and you're out the fucking door. There's your Supreme Court. There you go. There and you go. You work on fucking live cable TV all the time. No secret meetings. And you're not allowed to work in commerce while you're holding a public office. Ooh. Ooh. Should be... It should be a fair thing that's good for everybody. And what's good for everybody doesn't mean that you become a millionaire while you sit in fucking Congress for 12 years. The f I mean, how stupid. And then you got people that snivel and fucking whine like morons about welfare. Mary, you wouldn't believe the things I read on the interwebs. They're scary. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. <laughs> like what? Well, like welfare is what if you if you take a penny 
and it represents like a million dollars out of the um, um, federal budget. Mm-hmm. And then um, you you decide to make, actually, actually, if you take a penny and you make it, uh, or you try to get it to where, the, okay, it, it represents a million dollars, but um, then you try to extrapolate that out with the whole federal government and that penny, you have to break it down to the percentage that welfare is out of the federal government. And I'm talking the, the welfare program, oh, yeah, not the, the not the other yeah. bullshit, but just yeah. the welfare program. You'd have yeah. to cut that penny into probably four pieces. To prove. And one-fourth of that penny would oh, be. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. You threw me off with the physical. You have to cut yeah. it. I'm thinking of it like a pie. Well, okay, now you got to cut. Why are you yeah. cutting a pen? Yeah. Oh, so a percentage of your home is 25%. I, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if you have $100 uh, worth of pennies laying yeah. out on a yeah, table, yeah, yeah. the percentage of is one-fourth yeah, of one penny. It, but, Mary, it was dummy talking to me that made me a dummy there. I didn't understand what the, all that was. Well, I had to rethink and I, everything. I didn't, Instead of I didn't explain it well. Grown up. Well, you said it for a five-year-old. I, ah. I'm not a five-year-old anymore. Yeah, I grew up. I went, hey, knock that off. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. people, and they're slapping you around and shit. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, well, you know. So, yeah, but what we give, what we, we, what America gives Israel every fucking day is a lot more than what America gives America every fucking day. (laughs) Oh, hell yeah. It, It might, it might be what they pay their, their employees, but it's not, it's not nothing. The welfare is nothing compared to what they give to Israel to to bomb other people. (laughs) Well, America is paying a tithe to Israel. Oh, they're tithed at the nuts, man. I'm telling you. (laughs) Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That shit is sick, and they want to build a fucking wall. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeehaw. Boy, I wonder what Jose would have to say about that wall down in the down on the Mexican border where all the Mexicans come from. All them brown people. Is that oh well you know what? They're not all fucking brown either. That's wow. I know. So, I know. God, I'm I'm lighter than no, I'm not as light as circle, but skin color, I'm not real dark. I'm very pale. I'm Neapolitan. Yeah, well, yeah, I brown in the sun like a raisin I, and all like that. But, I mean, this is Denmark, and we haven't seen the sun since the Trump administration's last meal. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Um, you, think, you think World War Three is going to finally kick off? We can get into stage three of this fucking game. Oh, World War Three has been going for quite some time. Yeah, we, it's stage two, but the violence is the last stage, and the the catalyst that they no oh, look at what we're doing for you. Well, and, and that's that been going shit. for quite some time too. I mean, since Daddy Bush went over into the Middle East. Well, you know how I harp on the minimal they minimalize violence through movie and TV, and people are really numb to violence. Ah, give you right, they had. What, the beginning of last month or whatever in Florida, they had that fake shooting? Mm hmm. Hey, people were going apeshit, cross country marches. They got the kids to protest against guns. And like I thought from the start, it was all a bunch of crap. Oh, yeah. Obama made a video to prove, hey, we do these things for your own good people, and you must learn how unsafe guns are. So they disrupt society. With this fucking pretend shit to make guns look bad. And they're raising the kids with it. So they'll just wait it out another 40 years. Nobody will want a gun. Yeah. 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 They'll all, breed it takes it out is, of us. all it takes is a generation or two. And, and yeah. Because to tell you this, poor people don't want to ride a horse. Poor people want to drive a car. And rich people don't want to drive a car. They want to ride a horse. Ah. So the more money you have, the farther back in technology you go. Hmm. 
And I think that's because the old ways, whatever they were or are, were what is kept from us today in our massive illusion. Because ah. what started out as, oh, my gift to the world, free energy, Mr. Tesla, turned into Edison Westinghouse getting together and going, hey, this guy's going to fuck us up, man. We need money. Yeah, and then J.P. Morgan and the Rockefellers stepped in. Yeah, right, but the, I'm just saying the, the catalyst of it all, the beginning, the people that supported Tesla in the, one, in the beginning were the ones that had to turn on him for it to turn the way it did. Yeah. yeah. Then that Trump fucking creep is the last one supposedly known to have contact with Tesla before he actually died. That's creepier than Trump. Trump's wow. creepy, too. Man, he might be the bankruptcy king and all that, but that's a creepy old Jewish bitch. I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Raising kids, the wrath of grapes. That's a good one, Vinny. You need to remember that one or do that Here, quote. I'll write it. I'm going to write it down for Vinny. There you go. Because Vinny's perception of the world is all based on famous criminals of the past. Oh, He's all in politics and such. Just ask him. He's been doing interviews and such with his friends. Heard him on the radio the other day. It was yesterday, I think. Ooh. He did a, yeah, yeah, he's doing a weekly on Fridays again. And cool. he had a friend. Well, I don't have to agree with people to um, listen to him. Oh, okay. So like that, uh, what is that? show called I like uh, Rebels at the Round Table on uh, Minds. Oh, no, it's okay. on. It's actually it's on YouTube. I pulled it off of YouTube, but I found the group on Minds. Oh, and yeah, they're boy, they're a redneck group. Of, they love to say nigger, kike, and you know, do this. And if you only did that this way, and if you only listen to this knowledge and do it like that, everything would be better. And they don't really understand that, in my opinion, that that's the problem. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, think mm. about the way I would work my way across the United States would put me in positions to try to take a job I never did. But common sense would say, well, I'm sure the guy's got his own way of doing it. Find a way to make him show it to you. Oh, so what I found that worked the best with egomaniacs that hired me was, you know, I've got my own way to do it. But if you show me how you want it done, I'll try to adapt to make it, you know, more comfortable for you. Oh, and OK. There you go. And every egomaniac in the world's got, oh, well, hell, let me show you how it's done, sport. You know, ah. and then if you didn't know what you were going to do, you just saw it. So be able to reproduce what you just saw. And there you go. See, and not very many people can do that. I think it's everybody could do that. I think we're all that adaptable. It's just not brought out. That's what I mean is from a young age, people nurtured talents out of me in mental ways so I could learn how to do shit. I wouldn't just be sitting around like now. I'm so now I'm old. I've done all this shit. I don't want to continue to do it every day. Now I want a little time to, hey, sit on my butt and. Watch the world go around. Oh, there you Shit go. Shit like that. Yeah. Sit on your butt and watch the world go around. Hmm. Well, look at the result you got from losing the job at the dealership. People called you for a while to try to, hey, how do you do this? And hey, how do you do that? Oh, I still get people. Yeah. Well, okay, but that was the point of is no matter how good you think you are at something, Whenever you work for somebody else, their ego is always going to be above yours because they hired you. Yep. So they really be thinking they something special because they hired you. And I turned the whole thing around and went, I'm the fucker that's doing the work. So we're going to have a balanced field here. And I found a way so that I could get along with people and do that, not be browbeaten and, and made to feel like I was working. I was always doing something I enjoyed. And if I wasn't, it was I was doing some dirty job to help somebody else that couldn't do it for themselves. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah.
Well, and this weekend, because I told them when I I finally got things fixed at my former employer, um, to where there were other people that were um, admins on their Facebook page, and I told them, now you can remove me from the Facebook page, uh -oh. take away my admin abilities, wow. and they didn't, and it they was over. No, Ooh. it was over a week, and they still <laughs> hadn't. So I went in there yesterday, and I took me out. <laughs> you committed face aside? Yes, I did. I took me oh, out. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Miss Mary. What's the date today? Well, actually, just on that group. I'm, I'm weeding myself out of a lot of different things. And I'm still kind of looking at that fun little thing that, that um, tweaks your, your info that you put on there just to mess with them. So, yeah. Gulp. Boy, when you get pissed off, you don't mess around, do you? No. No. See, when I was pissed off enough with Facebook way back when they banned me the first time, and I went, hey, I'm not asking you if I can come back. Fuck you. Stayed off it. Well, nope. <clears throat> and the first time I got the boot, it was like, what the hell? What the hell? And then it was, okay. They gave, I had my little Facebook timeout, and they let me come back on, and I thought, okay, this is a challenge now. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like that saying, um, when someone says, how stupid can you be? Don't take it as a challenge, because some people do. Well, you know, they kick me off, and it's like, oh, the challenge, the gauntlet. <laughs> Somebody has uh. thrown down the glove, so I am going to, I've been having fun. Mm -hmm. Yes trying to like, see if maybe they can boot my maybe they'll boot my ass again and then I'll go oh well see I'm going to be that pain in your backside wow that see how much more cruel you are than I am <laughs> I just squash it with my boot give it my best stomp and you know hope it's dead and walk off you you're the cat. You're pulling the wings and the legs off. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, well, look, it's still hopping. Well, I am a Leo, and so therefore, yeah. Yeah. Oh, now you got an excuse. Okay. I well, see. you I know, did. astrologically, uh -uh. Yeah, that is in my nature is to play with it before I kill it. <laughs> that, that may be a little bit more information than we needed on the show, Miss Mary. <laughs> But Hank, I see Hank writing notes. Beware. You have been warned. Oh, shit. He's putting the note in his pocket. <laughs> I'm I'm getting a funny look over here. It's hilarious as hell. <laughs> I, would, I would hope so. <laughs> We're having fun at the dork table in mysterious ways that only a dork <coughs> would understand. That is true. That is true. I don't think. I don't think people leave here going, what the fuck was all that about? And if they do, nana nana boo boo. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, guess what? <laughs> You've been dorked. Yes, you have. <laughs> yeah, it would be it would be like like having a booger like stuck to your forehead and you go out in public and you don't know you get this big booger on your forehead and nobody through the night tells you hey you know what stupid you got a big booger on your forehead <laughs> but you find out you find out when you leave because you pass yourself in the reflection and you go hey i got a booger in my forehead <laughs> it's a lot like that only different only different so so <laughs> nobody is willing to step up and let their inner rural san rural santa dana come out huh you got a little tiny bugger. <laughs> yeah, a little tiny Rosanna Dana. Oh, man. What is all this I hear about whaling? Uh, mm, I don't know. And they're talking, but the talking point would be the whaling wall in, in wherever Jewland or whatever. And she thought they were talking about whaling whales. Oh. And she's going to protect the whales for 10 minutes. And then they go, no, no, no. The whaling wall. And. Jerusalem. Spelling is key. <laughs> it was just goofy, just goofy shit they did in the 70s that I still remember them doing. I haven't got a good enough case of Ozzy Hammers. I have to work on it. Oh, okay. Goober just said more unemployment ahead for sex workers via the sex bots. I Man, it takes a special kind of person to want to 
screw a Barbie doll. Mach- a machine. <laughs> a freaking Barbie well, doll. You know, I I got some machines upstairs in my in my uh, upstairs room. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think I'll go see if I can't make a robot out of them. <laughs> I mean, what the? This is beyond science. This is beyond sex, and this is the absolute strangest thing I've ever heard anybody wanted to do. What you going to do, Steve? I'm going to go fuck me a robot. (laughs) Can can I watch? (laughs) If you pay for half, you can watch. Ew. (laughs) Um, Ew. These are the conversations that are coming from the future about sex bots. The same old shit from before, but (laughs) with robots. Vinny wants to know if somebody masturbates to sex bot porn. Oh, you're going to have to ask, um, ask Hansel. Hansel would know. Man, that's ask just. Han- ask Hansel to pick, to take pictures of the palms of his hands and send them to you. Ew, no, <laughs> I don't want to see a picture of hairy palms. proof of, uh, of the events never taking place. Rascal, There's... get out of there. Uh, Beatles, Beatles freaking out their sex bot porn. I don't know. We just started the rumor. Let's see how long it takes to become true. <laughs> I killed Osama bin Laden with a slingshot. <laughs> well, I was drinking some Jose Cuervo with my friends over by the river the other day. <laughs> I mean, that's like the fucking news on TV. You know, wow. If you if you still believe anything they tell you, anything. If they tell you what time it is, check your fucking watch. They're lying. <laughs> oh, see, I don't have a watch, so it's okay. It, even if they're not lying, it, it's done in a way that's not good for you. Oh, Lord. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's the nature of the beast when you're talking about lies. If someone's telling you a lie, you can bet your sweet ass that there's something going on that ain't good for you, and they don't want you to know about it. So, Well, I could use my wife as an example to make the point more clear. Okay. All right. I am of the American persuasion. Uh Uh-huh. I have read a lifetime of horrible stories on the newspapers of the world and so on, and seen movies and this, that, and the other. Well, my wife is an American. She has completely different kind of um, upbringing. Uh Uh-huh. So she sees the world in a different perspective than I do. A lot more innocent than Uh I do. Right? And her morning, she the first thing she does in the morning drives me completely freaking insane. She puts on the news uh, paper on the thing in Danish to read what's going on, and that's what she's always done. Uh huh. And then she wants to tell me about it, and I'm so fucking newsed out over 50 years of the shit I had to endure that before I can brain my brain can accept she's talking about Denmark, and this stuff is so light compared to what I'm used to. It's not who did we bomb today, you know? What family got murdered by their, you know, their next door neighbor's cat. It's always something in America day after day after day. Oh. Here it's soft and easy news. It's not like what I'm and I can't change over and get comfortable and go, oh, I wonder what these wacky little Danes are doing today. I'm still on bomb, kill, destroy. <laughs> You know, oh, so see, you're set on spewage, and she's just sharing news. The, yeah, the, and the news is so boring here, but it's what, it's their thing. That's how they live. They're not bombers. They're, they live with what they do, and what they do is really innocent for the most part. Well, and when they have a, a social problem where a, a person speaks out. And gets a majority to believe whatever they're telling them. The 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 uh, political people will take an action to, to back up the guy or girl. It's not just all swept aside, and you got to do everything we say. There's a lot of that, but there's also a little bit of listening, giving the public a little bit of input, but not in Copenhagen. Hmm, well, see, you're just showing that most definitely sex and violence sells. And that's the oh, way yeah. the U.S. It media does. treats it. And where in Denmark, it's probably not the whole sex and violence cells. It's just, 
hey, did you know this happened? And did you know that this happened? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's a lot less, a lot less aggressive. The anger thing is really low here. You know, I, the other day I was walking across from some brown guy, just dark as fuck, right? And usually they'll they'll um, nod or smile or something. And this kid was just like so into himself he didn't even notice me. I went, whoa, there you go. So progress is coming, even here. Oh yeah. Because well. I don't know if you had headphones on or just wasn't paying attention, but it was unusual for somebody to be that close and not notice. Oh, see, and I watched a video the other day of, um, and the mother was laughing. She thought it was cute, and I thought it was horrifying. This what? little baby is laying on the floor, and it's kicking and screaming and just basically having a wall-eyed fit. Um, I'd say mm. probably nine months range. And um, when she handed it the cell phone, it shut up. No. Yeah. And then she took the phone away, and the baby flopped back down on the floor and threw a wall-eyed fit. No. And she's sitting there laughing, and then she hands the phone back to the baby, and the baby calms down and starts dicking around with the phone again. And I thought, oh, my God, how horrid. What the hell are you doing to your child? Indoctrination. Oh. The next, the next phase of development. Man, you yeah, because we'll we'll just get outweighed like the generation two before us did, you know. Uh. In, in in twenty years, old Obama will have been the the greatest first black American president of history. Ugh. It's the same crap. They just lie while it's happening. Wait twenty years and make up a story that's sounds better than what what really took place uh yeah you know my favorite one right now is what's that finding out what really happened and i think wait a minute if they lied in the first place then they knew what really happened in the first place because they told a lie about it well then how is all this news being discovered and no you're being had with another version of another story. That's why they tell it in mass. Ah. No, I mean, I can't count the amount of times I've, I've noticed somebody comment on a vaccine link over at mine. So I uh-huh. read the chat, you know, I read the comments from other people and not even on my own links, just reading what people have to say to each other. And it's amazing how the internet is bringing the attention to the guy that goes, Hey, wait a minute. I had no idea they would do this. I trusted these people. You know, that's the intention that you get. I get from reading what they say and then they go away and they, and I've been betrayed. Ooh. Well, I don't know. I'm getting to the point where it's like, uh, you know, how, it's it's hard to feel betrayed when you really don't give a shit what the other person has to say. <laughs> wow. And and I don't mean that in a harsh way. It's just that I would. you know, I don't mm. my my ego, my my mood does not depend on what someone else's opinion. For the most part, oh, there's very good, there's nope. very few people out there that good lord that can affect my mood by their opinion. Very yeah, few. Uh, and people on the internet, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that that's like um, cannon fodder for jokes for the door table. There's no ah, it's just a moment, poof, and then it's gone, and you go on to something else. Yeah. The stuff that lingers is the idea that we have fiat currency, poison for medicine, second-rate electricity, and people are forced to fucking work in order to eat every day. And as a collective, that's okay, people. That's how it should be. And no, I don't, I don't think so. I think it should be an opt-out to it that if you don't want to live like this, stay the fuck out of the city and you don't have to. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it should be an option. I wouldn't have anything against them in closing these fucking cities with walls from to protect the rest of us. <laughs> That's right. See, if you want to no. build a wall, build one around New York City build and one. build one around yeah. L.A. and build one around D.C. Of course, put a yeah. dome over D.C. as well. 
It could be like a checkerboard of just a bunch of walls. Yeah. Yeah. I could give two fucks because I don't want to live like that. But how you could want to live in that in today's life, I don't I don't see the attraction at all. Yeah, I I don't like cities. I never have liked cities. And well, I, even... I did like cities. Uh, I enjoyed well, the hell out of the cities when I was in them. Well, but I lived what, in Colorado Springs, now, which to me is a city. Uh, and it, It's it, not the point. Yeah. What it is now isn't what it was when we did it. And when you did it, you didn't like it. Yeah. Think about that for a second. Wow. So it's even gotten worse since when you were there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, the place where I live, it doesn't change. It's just as boring today as it was the day I got here. <laughs> uh, it's the safest fucking place in the world. It's a, an old, yeah, and the Harley, the first Harleys came out on the, the 2nd of April this month. Ooh. I was so happy. I think I, yeah, I think I had a tear in my eye. And it was an old 50s couple on a big old Harley. It was sweet. <laughs> Denmark. Aww. Oh, yeah, where we live is probably the median age is late 30s, maybe. It's a, yeah, there's a lot of long livers up this way. And some of these 50-year-olds are on Harleys with their wife on the back. Well. <clears throat> and, so, and maybe a little older. I'm taking a guess just by the appearances, you know. And I don't know really how to judge age by looking at somebody, but I would assume they're my age by the appearance. <laughs> well, <laughs> Okay, uh, you need to stop and realize then that that's 60s, because <laughs> you're yeah, damn well, near there. That's right. I'd be, what, what am I now? I'm 57, right? Something like that. Anyway, I got another one coming up in September. Yeah, that'll put me at, no, I'm at 58 now. That'll put me at 59 in September. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. you get getting so, to be an old fucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get me a. I'm gonna go out and invest me in into some of that um, cream for my elbow joints for when they start snapping and creaking. Mm. You need some wintergreen. Well, the good side, I've already got a wife to apply it to the parts that get creaky first. <laughs> oh. Right, right, honey. Uh huh. Uh huh. She said no. I, I got vetoed in my own game. Wait a minute. We will have to renegotiate. Oh. This look good for the, yeah. the king today. Oh, excuse wow. me. I had a double anyway. sneeze there. Wow. Yeah. Take one bed apart and you're just a mess for the rest of the show. I know. I know. Well, you know, but, when yeah, you take the bed apart, it's like, where am I going to sleep? On the floor. Do you, like, do you like old TV, though? Oh, I love old TV, like the Munsters and Gilligan's Island. And do you know what I I got to kick? One of my favorite old shows is the damn that Bob Newhart show. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and the part that just came to mind the best is he's going to interview his idol, some guy on TV. Bob Newhart's going to interview him, and uh, before the guy meets him to come on to the show, he has this show where he he calls this guy a weenie. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> out of as Bob's so dry and bland, and, and that's his version of being rude to somebody. It's like me calling you an idiot. Bob Newhart would call you a, a weenie. weenie, you big old meanie head. Yeah, so he gets his, his his the guy that he idolizes that got him interested in to do what he's doing comes on his show and then walks out because he's going to call him a weenie. <laughs> Oh god. Because he's such a hothead and well the character is so dry and dull. Bob Newhart has he's not the king of uh, excitement. He's no George Bush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> George George was fun. He was not the king of deadpan, but I think Buster Keaton probably had that one pretty well nailed down, but yeah, Bob Newhart is pretty good at the deadpan. I don't want to be that old. We we'll stick with Newhart. He's old enough. Yeah. I think he's like 85 or something now. And he's still, I don't know if he's still alive or not, but I think I've seen, a, seen him doing, um, what was that stupid show about the the dorks? Um, the Bang Theory, Big Bang oh, Theory. Oh, Big I Bang Theory. I think he was on mm. that, yeah. They brought him back to that 
Well, he was big in the 70s and the 80s. Well, and he was also the librarian in the the miniseries saying the librarian. I like that. That was kind of cool. A librarian? Who, well, who would know? I don't know why that came to mind, Bob Hart, Newhart, calling somebody a weenie. I guess my, my poor little brain, I saw the word classic, t- uh, classic four, and I saw it as TV and went on a rant. What have we not ranted about in a while on the dork table, Miss Mary? Um, oh, I, wow. See, if we haven't ranted about it for a while, then how in the hell am I supposed to remember? <laughs> well, you, remember when I, I decided I was going to boycott Monsanto? Yeah, Monsanto. And I saw something earlier today about Monsanto and <laughs> having um, something about tell President Bush to step in and stop the merger of Bayer and Monsanto. And it's like, wow, wow. I, you know, well, some yeah, of the stuff that I've researched gonna... and finding out that Bayer was actually uh, part of... Um, I don't remember the parent company now that it was, but it was a, a Nazi Germany company that <laughs> after World War II, they uh, slapped uh, them on the wrist and make them break into three different corporations that now, uh, yeah, Bear is right back to, exactly. and Bear was one of them. So, yeah. Well, they're going to just do it anyway. And what they'll end up doing is whoever was against it will be the first ones to get poisoned. <laughs> Oh no, we're we're all getting see they are equal opportunity poisoners. That's why they're doing it in the sky. Raid. Well, it, I don't I think the damage that that whatever they're doing does takes a long fucking time to take actually happen to get the result. Whatever the result is, it's not what we're told it is. It's got to be more um horrid than just their killing are you there? That, yeah, oh. that, oh, we're going to kill you thing is kind of cute, but no, they do it in such sneaky ways in front of your face that what they're doing in the sky is probably a hundred times worse than we think. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've talked about, let's see, medical, we've talked about money. What haven't we talked? Boy, we've been doing this for a while, huh? Yes. What's up? Well, okay. Well, then, would you know what we'll do? I give you, you, you tell me what's on your mind, and we'll do that for a bit. What's on my <laughs> mind? Oh my God! Oh, no. I need to have that Google headset thing, so I can God. crash Google all at the same time. Uh, what's on my <laughs> mind? Crash Google. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Big Pharma is on my mind lately, and um, I, um. Mm, and the way that they're, what about and the, I didn't you know, know that the AMA had such such uh, sway down in Australia, but apparently they do. How? Why well, Australia? Um, well, there's um, there's a fakey book page that is no longer able to post things <clears throat> or certain things because the AMA and Big Pharma guidelines that. Um, the Australian government used to come up with their rules and regulations on vaccinations and stuff. So now this anti-vax Australia page is no longer able to post like factual data. Wow. And it's, you know, Facebook keeps saying, oh, well, that's a violation of our, what is that? Where is that at? Uh, Milica 42 over on um, Minds posted this and it's just funnier than hell we removed this is from facebook and it's a spoof but you know just for those of you out there that think it might be true just because you heard it on the internet but it's a spoof we removed your (laughs) post because it violates our community standards due to factual accuracy that makes liberals look foolish any future posts based on logic sound reasoning and or irrefutable facts will be removed and your account will be suspended now that is what's what they're actually doing and what they're actually saying, but that's not how they word it. So, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, you pay, you post actual facts, and it's like, holy crap, we can't have this. We must use slurs. We must yeah, ban them. I was having a conversation on the RLM the other morning, trying to make it clear to somebody else that 
all these obstacles in front of you are just all word games. And if you know how to play the word game, the rest of it falls by itself. You don't need to worry about it. And some people don't. I, I talked to you about it earlier before the show, and you said, well, no. <laughs> I see the world through my own special little way, and I assume everybody's like me. And the older I get, the less they are. Yeah. 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 That, and that's the kind of cool thing, you know, that everybody sees things differently. And, and if people would just freaking grow up and be willing to listen to someone else, everything would be way cool. You know, just give them a listen, you know, and then interact with them yeah. in an adult manner or in a playful manner, however works for you. But don't be getting all, you can't say that because I'm off-ended. Yeah, you're off all right. Yeah, well, Circle tease, tease about that quite a bit. <clears throat> oh, the yeah? censorship, yeah, because her culture is not censored. Not, it's not, not like that. They don't censor words and ideas. Yeah. They, see, don't, and... they don't do that. And this is the, out of the two cultures, this is the communist, bad socialist place. Well, and yeah. And I'm telling you, the smaller population keeps the people that run it a little bit more honest because they got to be accountable. It's not that anonymous. I mean, there's big, bigger places where it is, but there's a lot of small places here. Yeah. So if the cities, that's why this whole game was so brilliantly done. They they brought so many people to the city that they could control them without them ever really knowing they're being controlled. Yeah. In the most diabolical fucking ways that can be spoken of. And when you tell other people that don't know, they think you're crazy. No, our government wouldn't do that. What are you, some kind of communist? We'd be better shoot you. You're a danger to mankind. <laughs> uh, ooh, yeah, or to society. Yeah, you are a danger to society. No, we're a danger to your <sighs> control of society. Well, how would you control society if you could? What would your answer be? <laughs> I don't want to control society. I do. I want to take over the world. Ah, see how you are. <laughs> what do you want to do tonight, Brian? <laughs> the same thing we do every night. <laughs> Try to take over the world. <laughs> ah. I love that cartoon. Uh, yeah, but I think my plan would work. Well, yeah, probably. I don't know. Of, I don't know. I'm saying I'm bragging because out of all I've seen written before me in religion and education and all this political crap, the three little components that seem to be missing, misaligned, misrepresented are the honesty, <laughs> murder, and hemp. Yeah. You got to not lie, not murder. And grow hemp and everything else falls right into place. But when you base your society on lies and deceit and trickery and magic tricks and bullshit stories, the results you get are the ones we have. <laughs> My way, I guarantee. <laughs> well, you know, and it just basically breaks down to don't steal. Oh, now you're going to improve my perfect freaking plan. Hey, you competition girl, you. <laughs> yeah, well, and, you know, seriously, does, I mean, if yeah. someone if someone lies to you, they are stealing your ability to discern what is actually going on. You know, um, if, if they kill you, they're stealing your life. If they rape you, then they steal your control over your own personal body. And you know, what if they just misinform and lie to you? Then what have they done? Then they have stolen from you the ability to actually see what's going on around you. Okay. And why does that idea alone not trans... Like, I get my own version of it. I don't say it the way you say it. Yeah. But it means the same thing in the long run. You know? Yeah. Because I wouldn't... I, yeah. Well, think if something bad happened to anybody that you're close with on the RLM. Like uh, the, a couple of months back, Grim was telling us a story about uh, 
Oh, you had a little burglar guy try to break in a window, and, you know, he handled it without being violent, without calling the cops. Just let the guy know, no, fucker, don't do this. <laughs> Get out and stay out. Yes, you don't want to well, go there. But that's, see, that is how I grew up, is people dealt with their own problems by their self, and somewhere in the 70s, this happened. <laughs> Yeah. It was fine and dandy, and then it was, hey, what do you, hey, I don't have any yellow cake in there, you weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, when a 12-year-old kid at an airport knows what they're looking for yellow cake up your ass means, then you know your society is broken. Yes. That would be a slight indication that your society's not normal anymore because the kids are going, hey, they're going to look up my ass for yellow cake. Yeah. And, and understand what it means at 12 when they should just, you know, be getting interested in the other gender. And they're already like, hey, what the fuck? What happened to us? Mm, we got very complacent. I don't think I've ever been complacent about anything, so it wasn't me. <laughs> okay, well, see, that is that whole we as a society, and that's where I can't control society. I don't want to control society, basically because society has to control itself, and in order for it to do that, each individual has to control themselves. And the problem I see mm. is that everybody has relied so much um, the government coming in to save the day. You know, you have a disagreement with your your um, neighbor, and instead of just going over and talking to your neighbor like a rational individual, you call the cops. It's it's you're abdicating your responsibility to handle the situation on your own in a peaceable manner, and that's what's that's wrong why now. I say bring back dueling. Snocks. 99% of that shit goes away overnight. Well, you know, if the cops just started saying, well, hey, you cops. know what? Uh, no, but seriously, it, if if people want to call the popo for everything that, that turns around shit, a friend of mine that is no longer an officer, he quit because it's like, I ain't doing that shit. Um, he was telling me one time that 60% of the calls that they were getting at the dispatch office were because somebody had posted something on Facebook that had offended someone. And I said, my God, can you not tell yeah. these people, okay, block them? <laughs> I don't know. It's don't that care. simple. But he said people have become so dependent on the nanny state. Mm. And the nanny taking care of. Well, why doesn't anybody talk about the politicians that do it? It's always the people taking it, can, advantage of. These fuckers do it for life. They get voted in and they never leave. Yeah. And the, the, the system that, that these voters support pay for these fuckers luxury whether they work or not. They call it an office. To, whatever the fuck they do, they vote on shit. They travel around and be pests but yeah. to the voter they do something and i want to know what are the results of all this shit that these fucking losers do and why do you support them everything is a clusterfuck stop it everything it's all this international shit needs to end well it's like uh alan west just posted something over on twitter and huh. i responded to it um let me see here. It was something about GOP. We gave you the House and the Senate and the White House, and <laughs> you have done nothing. And <laughs> my comment on that was, that's because they are two sides of the same coin. Yeah, and Monsanto owns both sides, and Coca-Cola and what, whoever else, back, uh, the bankers. It's just a big game. I, I guess it's taken seriously by a lot of people. I, I don't know. I don't take it serious. It's just a big movie to me. Well, yeah. Yeah, I can't make... I never see any of the... Sh I walked to the grocery today. I had... The, you know, it was a little cold, so I was a little disappointed about that. But 
you know, I make my little trip and I see people I'm familiar with and, you know, I know where I'm at. I'm comfortable. There you go. None of this constant checking and searching and illegal aliens and refugees and all that crap I read about. It's mm-hmm. just on the Internet. Yeah. So, well, it doesn't hold a lot of value because I don't physically see it. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going on either. I mean, I understand. I understand what yeah, you're saying. It's but, going yeah. on somewhere, but wherever it's going on, for one, here's the first part: is this thing so, been so complicated over, over our short life? Is it doesn't involve me in the first fucking place? Okay. Okay. What goes on in the house next door to me does not involve me. Yeah. No, nobody next door is sitting there for ten hours. Dwelling on what I'm doing. Ooh, let me think. What is the neighbor doing? Ooh, that, <laughs> that doesn't happen. All right. Well, multiply that. There's six million people in this little country. Uh huh. That we ain't even got to Germany yet. I mean, there's 80 million people in Germany. And I don't think many of them think of me. Probably not. I would venture to guess most of them are doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Interpreting the information I get in the way I was taught to understand it. That Ah. is not something easily explained to another person. They judge you by their own understanding of the same thing. When both people may see the same thing, we may come to a different conclusion. Yes. Looking at the exact same thing. Eh. But it's not, we're taught to call names and, uh, oh, you're an idiot. And that blah, 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 blah. It's what we do. Yes, it is. You know what? Well, uh, you're going you're gonna to put on your Eeyore suit and tap dance? No, no, no. No, I was just, I what. well, yeah, I don't know what, but I know my, I know a sister who. In any case, um, while you were jabbering, I was just kind of, I had Twitter up and I got tired of watching the Twitter feed. So I just went to, uh-huh. to my feed just to kind of see what yeah. I haven't, I haven't actually gone to my profile or my feed or whatever you want to call it um, in like forever. And Where? I didn't realize that I've been on Twitter since August of 2013. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> I just look at it like, damn, what the hell? But, oh well. Oh well. I just, uh, I I know, it's nonsense. It really doesn't make a shit bit of difference. I'm, yeah, I'm having a squirrel moment because it's like, holy crap, time really flies. Because I didn't get on Twitter until I really started doing radio stuff. And, and I'd been doing radio for a while. And it's like, damn, I've been at this a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I used to enjoy giving you a call and uh, nobody could hear what I was saying but you. And then just saying the wackiest shit to get you to laugh. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That was the fun shit. Hey, looky, Woody and Bo- Moosey have joined the chat. Hey, Woody. Hey, Moose. We were just bringing up Woody because nobody's heard from him yet. He said if he got near a, a, a library, he'd get to us. So I would assume keeping my Budweiser cold. Hmm. Oh, yeah, from Tucson. Uh, he's in the desert. Eh, Sweet. Not, he has not run into a rattlesnake yet. Well, Be glad. (laughs) Yes. When you do, you'll wish you didn't under the wrong circumstances. But yeah, they would. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Um. Oh, I'm responding to Moose. Now, oh, we got Miss Moose around. Hey. Yes. I don't know what they're talking. Parado. Paradot is kind of a. It's a. It's a very pale green, but it's almost like a greenish yellow. It's oh, a, he's it, talking all that stone stuff, huh? Yeah. Ugh, yeah, you nerds are too much. Oh. Well, not you nerds, them nerds. Them you're nerds? The yeah, well, you're, yeah, you're Woody finds some of the coolest stuff. Oh, the nerds? Yeah. The, yeah. They're the finders. Yeah. Yes. The collectors and the finders seem to be nerds. Yep. And then, of course, the geeks are the ones that perform constantly and for absolutely no reason. Yeah. 
And what else have we got? And then we got the dorks. We're going to make groups and then start a war. What do you think? I don't want to start a war. Oh. Wow. Let's start you're a peace. Right, a, right in the beginning, you're already against me. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just, Just yeah. trying to make everybody fucking happy. <laughs> I, I want to start a peace. <laughs> uh oh. Wait. And, and you, you spell that however you wish to. Yeah. He says, she says it like that, too. <laughs> Just gets better and better. <laughs> Welcome to the dork side where we see things with a smile for a reason. <laughs> right? Us dorks are just like that's the way we roll. That's Ask right. Vinny. Vinny's got a little dork in him. Oh, Vinny's got a lot of dork in him, but he's got the redneck version. Well, you know that guy that he had on yesterday that was so statist and so rigid and drove me up the fucking wall listening to it. I understand what he means, but I don't agree with him. But I'll listen to him, bitch. I mean, I think he's got a right to bitch, but what he should do is pursue some of these problems he has and see where they go to find out what's behind that. It's like he knows most of it, but there's things behind what he doesn't know that are making him still believe the government's going to save him. Like that kind of, that that idea. The government's going to fix it somehow. Yeah. Well, once well, I, again, that's abdicating your own personal responsibility. That And that's what I was bringing it up for, to brag about you, little missy, and your simpleness of mind. Ah, yes, I do have a simple mind. It's okay, rather chaotic, well, uh, but it's simple. <laughs> okay, and you know, just for the sake of argument, complex is all fucking wonderful and great when you're doing a piece of artwork, but complex and all this infinite shit when you're doing a piece of law is just asinine. All this shit's gotten so out of hand just to employ a group of fucking thieves and the people tolerate it. Yeah. And they're going to tolerate it until there's a fucking physical, violent fucking uprising of people that have had the fuck enough. Because this system that we're living under as a collective, it's fed because we allow it. Stop using certain shit, it would go away. But they're su physically supporting it somehow. Yeah. Mm, makes me nuts. Well... It makes you nuts because you let it make you nuts. Well, it's either that or take a bunch of drugs, and I'd just be too lazy to do all that. I hear stories about my drug addictions on the RLM every now and again. Oh, hey. But uh, physically, I wish I had the problems that they claim. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I should be shooting two pounds of heroin every day just for shits and giggles. There you go. You know what? I just, mm -hmm. uh, once again, I was trolling Twitter. And, trolling, trolling, trolling. Yeah, trolling, trolling, trolling. <laughs> Worldtruth.tv shared a, mm -hmm. a link. Mon Satan creates the first genetically modified strain of Mechihuana. There we go. <clears throat> and the shit's yeah, going to hit the fan. You. They're going to destroy weed. But you know what? If it if it really is like um, like um, oh, Jennifer Daniels said that if you do not do to it what it requires in order to you know because it's it's genetically modified to be able to tolerate this or this or this, and if you don't expose it to those things and you save back your seeds and you go another year without exposing it to those things and you save back your seeds. It's no yeah. longer genetically modified. It will go back to being just well, yeah, just all what that's it was. all swell and good, but it's just the underlying the the concept of the whole thing, the control behind it. It's a fucking plant. It, yeah. We have been mutilated mentally by these fucking people in power as a collective, and too many idiots listen to too many idiots, and until you. Take your balls in your fucking hand and turn your back on them one way or the other. It's going to continue, and that's that. Yeah. You know, and if you support this legal marijuana crap, you're more crazy than I am. Yeah. The more she beat her, the more she loves you. 
I mean, yeah. that's the kind of mentality this is showing me. Yeah. You know? You're making all this fucking legal hoopla over a fucking weed that has more benefit than anything else on the planet. Why? Why does this happen? Well, because so you don't notice the way they do the banking and stop them. How do you stop yep. them? If everybody fucking knew, understood what they're doing, it wouldn't continue. Yeah. So unless you're making money off this illegal system somehow, why would you want it? See, then you'd want it to continue. If it's fueling you, you want it to continue. If it's not fueling you, then you want it to end. Yeah. Mm. Well, I've taken it a step further beyond money and financial comfort, and I'm telling you that because of the wavelengths that they carry us on, these are the results they're always going to get. So what difference does my contribution make to a fucking broken game? If I had a cure for cancer, I'd just get murdered. Nobody would yeah. want to hear it or laughed at or told to shut up. Nobody would want to know it. Well, and it's like we discussed, I don't know if it was last show or the show before that, cancer isn't a disease. Your body has okay. a dis-ease. Right, right. It's just a symptom. Well, wait. But Mary, you're talking at the at the dork table where we we know what you think about that. It's not even the point. The point I'm trying to make is more that the system trains us to see things in ways that, like you're pointing out, they're not as complicated as we think. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. because the more complicated, like yeah, the more complicated something is, then the more they can they can make it to where oh well you have to have this in order to truly understand it, or you have to have this kind of training, or you have to do this or whatever, and that's why you don't understand it. It's just like look outside. Where does the enforcement to do these things come from? I just told my doctor, no, I ain't doing that. And he went, oh, okay. I didn't know that you couldn't tell your doctor no until other people said, you can tell your doctor no? I said, well, why not? It's you, from training. Training of what? I just... Training told, you well, to accept external authority. Oh, well, maybe that's the class I missed when I was like 12 because I've been telling people to go stuff it since I was about 12. And you know what people have been doing since I was about 12? What's that? Turn the fucking back and walk off and go stuff it somewhere because it wouldn't do it. Ah. And just look at me now. Oh, I have developed into the wonderful man I am today. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, they went to go pick on an easier target. <laughs> it's the point is I, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Yeah. Is, you want to be a target in society and irritate people and and go out and create disturbance and be an ass fuck well you're the problem you're not solving anything yeah yeah there you go that's the bottom line quit being a fucking liar be an honest person go out and be nice to people it's really the the nature of the beast we've just been convinced of other things you know yeah sure well my father was not a, a shy man about discipline him, you know, his kids or other people. You got in his way, fuck, ooh, boy. He's one of those kind. Yeah. Yeah. Size didn't, that didn't intimidate him. And he was like 5'10". He wasn't a very tall guy, but fuck. Anyway. Well, <laughs> so dynamite comes up. in small packages, so. No, 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 no. I don't even mean that the... the I'm just talking about the mentality of somebody like that. Fuck the size and got nothing to do with it. It's yeah. the upbringing behind the man. Yeah. And we started out with that. Now we got people that, you know, uh, they complain about somebody breastfeeding a child in public because <laughs> it's an assault to their sensitivities. Yeah. And yet they're wandering around with everything but the oh, nip Christ, showing. Well, that's not even the point. It's the, the sure it the is. Idea, the the well, it's the hypocrisy of it all. It's yeah, okay that's for okay. You didn't yeah. Say it was, that's what I mean, Miss Simple. Be simpler for me. I like it when you're simple. <laughs> 
when you get all when you get all n- nerdy on me, you make my tumor bleed. <laughs> Because, you know, at the dork table, we got a rule. If a five-year-old can't understand it, it's too complicated. That's true. Yeah, well, a rule. Eh. And I think that's more of an understanding than anything. Well. I I have with you. When you get too wordy and I get confused, I just go, hey, help. (laughs) Yeah. Well, sure, everybody interprets everything however they do. You can assume for me, but you don't know how I took something. Yeah. True. And even if you explain it, I may not still understand it the way you mean it. Damn. See, we're agreeing again. This has been such a wonderful day. (laughs) 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 What am I going to do with myself? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so Vinny's got uh, he's got a Friday show or something. I don't know. He's doing a Friday show, but he, he brought up doing an interview with some survivors of Waco. And I think that would be a trip. Yes, that would be. That would but be. But how many times, this has been 25 years ago, how many times have these people told that shit, the details of this shit over and over, what could you possibly say to them that they haven't heard 100,000 times? The only problem is that a lot of people have not heard you know, from them. Right, right. I realize that's how small it's been kept, that they do small interviews over 25 years where you never accumulate a large population of, yeah, they know we're here, Mary. They're just never going to give us an audience. Yeah. You kidding? We were expected. And they'll squash us like a bug. There's too many um, civilized, smart people out there that understand how the game is done, see? Ah... That's <laughs> scam of it's the mother of all scams. Government. See, and I understand how the game is done too, and that's why it's like, okay, you want to play a game? Thank you. <laughs> Shall we play a game? Uh-oh. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't want to play. I, I want to go play. I'm going to go play with Hannibal through that mess. That's going to be horrible. Well, I don't. I don't mean it has to get nasty. It doesn't. You don't have to break out the violence in order to. To uh, totally thwart something. I Okay, and I've come to the point at this, whatever disagreement is going on back home, because what I read, I would say that it's beyond talk. <clears throat> talk. Talk is over. Uh, that time, that boat has sailed. People don't care what you say anymore. It's not about that now. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Have the promises all been broken? Again, by the great orange one in the power. Uh, see, and that that's just, that's all, you know, a reality show that's going on right now. And, and it works, and right, I, right. I don't watch reality shows. I just don't. Okay. Well, they're entertaining. And I'm tell, let me tell you what the, my favorite one right now is. What's There's that? equal, well, who knows what the stories are true or not. It's the entertainment value of them I get a giggle out of. So for a week, they had a a big group of so many thousands of people marching through Mexico towards the American border. Yeah, I saw that. And the buildup, right, then they're building this story up on the south, and they're coming. And then up in the north, they're saying, well, we'll put some uh, National Guard troops down on the border. And National Guard's the ones that kill their own. So, ooh, fuck me. Yeah. That's That's a pretty valid threat right there. Fuck the Marines and the Navy and the Air. Fuck those guys. I'd, I'd be afraid of National Guard because those fuckers take an oath to be willing to shoot their own. Mm. That's how they get away with it. Yes, dear. Think about it. Military's got rules. Oh, I know. Military has rules. And basically anybody that joins the military just volunteered to be a human sacrifice to the leeches that be. I don't I don't want them to be. If I can do one thing in my time in this reality, I would yeah. like to get people convinced that they are not the powers that be and they are not the elite. They are the parasite class and they are the leeches that be. And Rob works is the one that came up with the parasite class, but I I look at them as the leeches that be because they are blood suckers, metaphysically and physically. 
I don't know why Moose is correct me. I've made my fucking stand on this fucking political shit for years. If you're not paying attention, then I guess you don't get the satire. But Trump, Frump, Bump, uh, Ob- Oh, what was his name? Obama, Clinton, yeah, Ford, They're just the current lead Nixon. actor in this stupid yeah, reality series. It's no different than the real world when they had that skanky, blonde-headed kid that when it first came on and it was like, really? Mm. Everybody watches this shit? What the hell? The POTUS is the front man for a band that is always out of tune and cannot play a complete song. Oh, there you go. Well, I've yeah. seen this fucking thing time after time since I was about... 11 or 12 when well, I noticed Nixon and they're a cover band as well and they're horrible yeah. And they, yeah and they do a pathetic job a, of each one's playing a different fucking song they're geez and they're the most disgusting looking people that you can assemble under one roof at one time yeah you ever want to feel good about your appearance look at Congress yeah they look like a bunch of oi did you guys fall into the acid <laughs> yeah <laughs> Wow. Looks like they all got lost in an ugly forest. Did your mama have to put a pork chop around your neck so the dog would play with you as a child? Yeah. I'm telling you, all the old jokes. Hey, you know what I got? I got an old Johnny Foulmouth joke for you. Uh Uh-oh. But wait a minute. I think I've told it on the dark table before. Damn it. I hate to repeat. Oh, well. Uh, Should I pass or give it a shot? Go for it. Okay. Little Johnny Foulmouth is in his classroom at school at Halloween time. And the kids are going to go up to the chalkboard and they're going to draw a scary picture. Uh huh. Well, little Johnny Foulmouth is that little kid in the classroom the teacher always calls last because he's the most disgusting, vile, uncontrollable, but predictable child in the room. So she starts out with little Mary and little Mary goes up to the drawing board and she draws Dracula. Oh, scary, scary little Mary. And little Mary goes back. And then little Larry comes up and he draws Frankenstein. The kids go up. Oh, and, they're on, and then finally she can't put off Colin Johnny's the last kid again. Little Johnny goes up there, and puts a dot on the board, goes back and sits down. The teacher says, Johnny, what is so scary about a dot? And, and little Johnny looks at her and he says, well, for one... It's not a dot. It's a period. Okay, little Johnny, what's so scary about a period? He says, I don't fucking know. You're the teacher. My sister didn't have a period for two months, and it scared the shit out of her. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. <laughs> I Sark didn't like that either. <laughs> I got the thumbs down from the queen, not the Johnny Palmouth. <laughs> oh, little dirty Johnny. Yes. There's all kinds of little dirty Johnny jokes out well, there. I wasn't inspired by too many people in life. Maybe um, Tom Robbins, the guy that wrote the uh, Still Life with Woodpecker. Lots of fun quotes in that book. This guy had imagination. And I think he probably did a, a few like hallucinogens and maybe smoked a few things. Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? What's that? I, I'm going to open up Tom Robbins' quotes. And I'm going ha- to I'm gonna pick a couple and you can read them because you're fun when you read. What do you think of that? Okay. Okay, because it's, it's my fav- probably top ten favorite books I ever read. It's called Still Life with Woodpecker. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the title has I, has everything to do with the quality of, of the work inside the covers. But it you got to read it. I, I showed it to Sirk, and she took it to work one day, and she was like, wow, this guy's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He has some taste. Oh. Okay. Well... If you're gonna if you're gonna quote Pete like I've quoted like the great Henry Kissinger. Ew, stop that. Uh, oh, he said some okay, I'm not, but he said some really clever things, Mr. Kissinger. Yes. Haven't you ever read his wow. Yeah, I have, but I can't I can't read it without hearing that voice and that just freaking creeps me out. Uh, did I destroy you forever with the impression of Henry Kissinger? Oh, 
I no, he destroyed any impression that you might wish to do. Hey, you know, what? I saw a link today that indicated that the uh, Saudi Arabians and the Jews are in some kind of agreement. Oh, God. Yeah. That's scary. And That's I, like dogs I, and cats living together. No, no. That, that has been my concern since I can ever remember is thinking uh, these people are all in it together pretending to be enemies so that we'll do what we're supposed to do. And it And it's always legal to not cross the path of a certain player. You know, you can't do this. You can't do that. So it used to be, you, well, you, you still can't, but you can't hold or run for a public office in the States if you're anti-Semitic. Yeah. So well, a lot of the public isn't aware of that particular, wait a minute, you what? <laughs> nope. If you're anti-Jew, they wouldn't even give you this a shot at the seat. Well, well, uh, what? It's yeah. just a reality. It's it it is a reality, and I I really yeah. don't want to. I don't, wanna don't do want to do that anyway. So you know, it's okay. It's one of the. It's like that science fiction book, uh, short story that I read years and years ago. You know, this <laughs> these people are are stranded on an alien planet, and um, they decide to create some kind of government to make decisions for the whole. And so what they do is the way you serve in the government is they just draw lots and you get to do it for two years, whether you want to or not. And depending on how good a job you do, that will show on that will reflect on where you reside, like with your your uh, animals and your crops and all that other fun stuff. If you're doing things that people don't like, nobody will come over and help tend to your crops and your critters. But if you do a good job and everybody's happy and, and things go smoothly for the community, then people will help out and they will take care of your crops and your property for you and your critters. And I think that's a wonderful way of, of doing things. That's you. What, yeah. if the guy do, what if the guy down the road doesn't think it's a wonderful thing? Well, he's got to answer to everyone else. Well, that's what I mean. Instead of being raised with honesty and, you know, foundation, we're, we're raised with get away with and, and compete. Yeah. And do whatever you have to do to get there. And, uh, yeah. But if you are held directly responsible via your livelihood for, you know, whatever actions you take in the name of making decisions for the whole, then you're at, you're more apt to uh, do a better job of making sure that things go smoothly for everyone. Because if we all, if one goes down, we all do. Right. But the, the attention and the focus has been taken off that idea and put on fine and punish. Yeah. Yeah. You don't correct a problem in life. You fine and punish them for making the mistake. Yes. And, I mean, they've got it to gathering rainwater. I mean, just, it's so ridiculous now that how do they find, how do they get compliance? Are they so pumped up and full of their self that they just think they can walk around and do as they fucking please? Or do they come armed and force you at gunpoint to participate or get shot? What the hell's going on? You know, it's almost the nun with the ruler mentality. I, I don't know, but well, I know that yeah. I in went my to Catholic father's school, day, yeah. that if a guy with a badge came on your property, that he better have a goddamn good reason for being there. He was going to be told to get the fuck out. Yeah. Period. And it wasn't out of root or income. It was just, you got no business here. Don't be here. And it was a, a untold thing. Yeah, you didn't have to say I, it. It was just, I, yeah. I, I don't remember police cars patrolling the, the living streets that I lived on. I saw them traveling on the main streets. But patrolling neighborhoods and shit like that? Fuck no. Are you kidding? Well, there are places out here that, yeah, the cops don't even bother going there. They don't patrol there because the neighborhood patrols itself. Yeah, it was just an innocent time, and there wasn't anything. People were neighbors, and they didn't do shit to each other. 
pass each other on the way to the work or the store or whatever. And hey, how you doing? Not this. Now it what's become normal is really out there. Yeah. 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 When you know, there's they got public bathrooms here in Denmark. Did you know that? Cool. Did you know I don't speak Danish? Yeah. How do you think I know which toilet to use? Probably because they have um, little pictures. Of? Of, like, little stick figure boy and stick figure girl. There you go. There's, like, two choices. Pick one. Yeah. And if you pick the wrong one and the wrong people see you pick that that toilet, ooh, boy, take your chances. Yep. There yep. you go. But you know what I saw in America on the Internet? What's that? That they got to build a bathroom for like 16 different kind of sexes now. Is that yeah. true or is that just a story? I, I haven't seen anything like that yet, so I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I kind of made that part up a little bit. Well, and oh, it's, I, I mean, well, they I do have... The... Okay, I do take it back. Um, at Walmart, I have seen the bathrooms that it's, yeah. you know, it's got the, the man, the woman... Um, and a little one, and they're all kind of holding hands, kind of figurines, and it's it's everybody pretty much knows that is a family re restroom where you know, mommies or uh -huh. daddies can take their little ones in. They can change diapers. They can do all this other fun stuff. That's that's the extent of seeing anything besides male or female, that I've seen. How do you how do you feel about that one? I don't have a problem with that. I mean, it's a larger bathroom and it's got a changing station in it, so that. You know, either daddy or mommy can take little one in to go to the bathroom because, mm. yeah. It's all that social freedom that Americans have being, you know, exposed to reality all the time. Well, yeah. I'm guaranteeing that shit. I'm, I've been here for a while now. I'm telling you, if these kids here, as wired into the Internet as they are, they're still different than the ones I remember back home. And they're wired in pretty good. Most of them got cell phones and, you know, do that. But I don't know. It's just a little different. I still see them walking and talking to each other occasionally. Hmm. They're not always, yeah, if they're on the thing, usually it's people by their self more than two or more. If two or more people in, in town are together, there's, there's no internet. There's no uh, cell phone. And if somebody's alone, yeah, that's more than likely they're talking on the phone if they're yakking when they walk by you. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I just pay attention to these things, and I don't think about them, but I pay attention. And then one day, boom, I get this idea and go, oh, that's what I've been noticing. Ah, it just got my, oh, I see. I don't know why. Probably doesn't matter. But it was an interesting thing to me as a dork to notice. Huh. Well, there you go. An dorky interesting people thing. doing dorky things like raising their kids. Yeah. Raising their kids to not be total douches. Hey, there you go. If you don't want it there's done a, to you, don't do it to someone else. That's the way I raised my an, kids. There's an occasional douche. Now, I wouldn't I wouldn't say maybe more than every six months to a year that yeah. out in public somebody's kid will act up where it's like oh man that's like home yeah most of the people here are, their children are really well disciplined they're, they're social they you know they go out and they play with ducks in this out by the water <laughs> they're not afraid of shit you know they're just having fun growing up yeah but you know what if you teach your kids by example you really don't have to use a whole heck of a lot of um Oh, cripes, and you just used that word. Um, well, where did all that walkout shit across the nation by the schools to ban guns come from, or is that just a bunch of hype on the Internet? Oh, well, it did happen. I don't know how many places it happened at, but apparently it did happen. Apparently. You know, it was on the Internet. See, must be true. Funny. Yeah. But um, there was there was also an awful lot of backlash on that because there was an awful lot of people that were like, wait a minute here. No. You know, you guys have got this wrong, however yeah, they, you wish to put it. So, well, they staged a, another mock 
massacre shooting thing to gain support to sell more guns and gain support on the side and for that and then the other side for this and until you can just accept that it's a big performance by everybody involved in it and don't support it then you're going to have that ah huh. hmm hmm hadn't thought yeah, of yeah this hey I'm not going to live forever, but I sure hate seeing the, the country I'm from get beat down like this. I mean, I'm I'm probably as statist as I'm ever going to be. <laughs> but I still got that, hey, I was born there, and, you know, it's a – places aren't good or bad to me. Like, I don't have a problem with Israel or uh, Iran as a place. I got a problem with the governments that re- represent the bit of dirt they're claiming they own. And these people are just – gone way too fucking far yeah yeah it's, it's not very complicated and somehow or another whether we want to or not we go along with it somehow and and there's no resistance to it that makes a, a friction to make it stop yeah i mean can you imagine the amount of fucking jobs that these bombs rely on every freaking day yeah. How yeah. many people get a living, a nice place to live and a good car to drive because they build fucking bombs for a living? Yeah. What's what is wrong with people? Are are we I mean, uh, it, this is it. This is the best we got. Defending yourself from some fiction thousands of miles away because they have weapons. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, it's the psychos that you're listening to that are threatening you with what they're threatening you with that are the problem. It's yeah, but instead of confronting the psychos with the threats. <laughs> yeah, they scare the population with the possibility of the threat being real. And then you get this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you got to feed us a certain way for us to behave in the right fashion dictated by the circumstances yeah uh, hmm. yeah I would say there's more the the more you feed into it would be based on the more it fuels you with its resources of bad energy and bad food and bad water hmm. well I base that assumption on your very own uh, lotions and and oils theories they yep. have learned from you. Yeah. Well, not that I really learned from you. I, I think that you gave me a chance to to do it for um, on my own and see for that it works. Well, and that's just that's yeah. all that's the only reason why I put that stuff out there is you know, it's it's not to earn a living or anything like no, that no, shit. No, it's no, it's I know that. to You're help a good people guy. you know, help people educate themselves and take charge of their own health. That what? Where does Moose get at me? Is I ran. I got the guy down at the damn train station where I get my cigarettes is from Iran. We're friendly to each other. We think the governments that represent us suck. Yeah. Both of them equally. Not his is worse than mine or my. We just look at each other and say, why? Why don't they just stop this crap? And me and him understand what we mean. Other people don't. Yeah. Not so much, but we're supposed to be natural sworn enemies, and we know it, and we're not playing the game. It there just doesn't go. work. Yeah, well, you know, and that's, I, I see more and more people gradually stepping away from the game. Mm-hmm. And gradually stepping away is, I mean, that we got in well, the game gradually, happen. so, you know, a gradual step away is less painful. Some people do it in big leaps and bounds, and some people do it in a gradual process. But um, the trickery and deception that it's all based on makes escape virtually impossible. Well, you can't really escape from society. You just plain can't. I no. Mean, uh, yeah. I'm trying here, Edith. I'm trying. <laughs> I know you are, but... I'm close yeah. to it. <laughs> well, but you still... I mean, society is as big or as small as your surroundings. So, you know, mm-hmm. I don't... I, I don't know. Nah, it's easier to shove shit down your throat in the city than it yes. is out of the city. Yes. There's 
that crowded what well, to me i i i don't know my life took me where it took me and i see things the way i see them and uh, it's all a matter of interpretation little missy mm, yeah it is pretty much pretty much so i want to compile a list of famous drug addicts for the dork table and then I was thinking, what did they have to be real or could they be fictitious? Then I thought, would it, would it matter? Most of the history I ever learned was a bunch of bullshit anyway. Well, yeah. Although, obviously, Janis Joplin had an issue with drugs, and so did Jimi Hendrix, and so did... No, he did. No, he did not. That's such a crock of shit. He just opened Electric Ladyland. Why the fuck would he be suicidal? His dreams had just come true. No, he, I'm not saying that he was suicidal. I'm just saying that he had he suffered the ultimate negative repercussions of playing with something. That's the results you were told. The information about the man make the results look a little skewed, just like Morrison. Well, and I didn't realize that Morrison's dad was, was Air Force, I think. Admiral in the Navy. Oh, Navy. Okay. And when, when Jim was getting famous and they asked him, he said, no, I'm an orphan. He didn't even want to tell anybody who his parents were. He was avoiding all that. Yeah. He wasn't proud of his father. Yeah. But his father was involved in M, M what's that MK Ultra MK Ultra yeah top secret shit and so was John K the Steppenwolf too. Hey Grim, Grim's good at research. Any on music guys or Moose Girl even? But do a, a thing on John K and his father was in that too. Some military bigwig and these guys got famous in rock and roll and I just find it hard to be a coincidence. They, and the way they died, too, was yeah. like, wait a minute, no, something's wrong with that. Yeah. But depending on your reading material and your upgrade, upbringing and your experience with, say, drugs or whatnot, would lead one person to one explanation and somebody else to another. Well, I guess I just happen to, I've known a few people that um, have had that adverse reaction the ultimate adverse reaction to uh, drugs if you will mm -hmm. okay so, so you know i yeah it it's not it hard for me to see that you don't really have to be addicted to you could just be playing with and all of a sudden it, it doesn't make sense though why would somebody whose dreams are coming true and for being fulfilled on a daily freaking basis, sitting on top of the world like that, be so mentally depressed that they want to take downers. It doesn't make sense. I don't to me, know. maybe it makes sense to you. No. Me, I'm a different person. I go, hey, Jimmy, come to the party, my friend. <laughs> well, see, and I know people that, and actually, once again, someone that I know that, that died from, they went to a party and they did downers and alcohol because someone had told them, oh, man, it's such a freaking awesome, and they wound up dying. So, you know, sometimes yeah, curiosity that. is not necessarily a good thing. Well, it's that again it's you get the end results and you see the end results through your perspective yeah and and so do i and this grand illusion that we all see the same thing at the same time the same way when no you're just being told that so that somebody can sell you a coca-cola uh well yeah well yeah i mean the herd mentality is huge I'm trying not to get it, but I get a giggle out of going over to Spreaker and, hey, there was 20 people on the Spreaker checking out the dork table. Yeah, and that's and cool. They, well, because behind all the crap, there is sometimes something being, you know, said for something beyond a joke, but most of it's just garbage. Opinions and what we think about how stuff is. And, eh, 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 eh. So what? But... No, his father was an admiral, dear. I, I, it's in the, no one here gets out alive. No, and it wouldn't be in that book, would it? Give any background of his dad. Fuck. 
I can't remember the book I read it in. I thought it might have been No One Here Gets Out Alive, but I can't remember. Ah. That well, was a book about Jimmy's life. Hmm. So it might have been in that one, yeah, because it, it explains, you know, like crap, like how he met uh, Pam Carson. Oh. How okay. do you say her name? Carson? Car- the girl. I don't know. Well, I don't that, know. that was the one reason I, I was convinced he didn't kill himself, uh, that he didn't pretend to kill himself. He really did die. Because he wouldn't have tortured her like that. They had a, a very on again, off again relationship. They're real passionate. <laughs> the kind, the two that you, they can't live with each other, can't live without each other either at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and they were one of those kind of couples. So to do that, pretend to be dead for 10 years? No, nah, I don't think so. Because she died in what? He died in 70. She died in 80. Hmm. Usually happens with a real couple is the second one won't last very long after the first one goes. Oh yeah. Oh cripes. I have I have seen yeah, stuff like that where yeah, they don't. Yeah, my mom lasted a few years after my father, so that was kind of surprising. Yeah. But yeah, we milked it for every minute we could get for the most part. Well, there you go. There yeah. you go. Eh, so I do something right every once in a while with my drug-addled mind. Drug-addled, filthy, hippie mind. <laughs> yes, you filthy hippie, you. <laughs> God dang it all. I don't know. What do you think? You think I'm a dirty, filthy hippie? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what your oh, hygiene man, issues you are. Were... I don't know oh, what your... A... Yeah, but... It's not, a, you... it's not a medical term. It's a... Come on, well, you were a dirty, experience. filthy. Hey, and you didn't let me finish. So there, did, Mister Interrupter. I was interrupting you. At yes, the end you of the were. Show, like I always do. <laughs> yeah, my brother always tells me that um, <laughs> I'm the only conservative hippie he knows. So. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And I tell him, hey, hippies were into being conservatives. They conserved water and showered with friends. So. Yeah. You know, uh, they conserved bed space. They all slept together. <laughs> I mean. Oh, you can you can yeah. take the words and twist shit around however you want to. That's that's what's you know, and that's that's a thing that I more and more see is that I want to dissect all of the word games that they're playing. <laughs> so, and then I like to play them right back at them. I see how you are, Mister Whore Monica. <laughs> nah, I'm just having a giggle at the end of the show. I see how you are. Well, and uh, all the shit that's going on, mines. And, and uh, Skype and all these crazy sites we're all connected to and all the colliding it does. Yeah. Well, yeah, we I get little glitches. Like uh, if, if I have this plugged in, this won't work this way. It'll only work that way. Just technical shit that I don't know if it's in the coding or if it's in the equipment. Um, I don't know but enough I, about it to but, know either. Yeah, but I do know that Windows did some major up fucking something to the goddamn computer the other day. It's came across big black friendly letters telling me all about it. So, and and then of course right after you see some fucking big thing from Windows, then you know your computer's gonna drag lag or act like a fag somewhere. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is earlier mine was blowing. <laughs> hey, shut up, fucker! It was just being a before the show. We couldn't connect. <laughs> well, yeah, that was ridiculous. I mean, for fuck's sake, this is the twenty first. Unplug us thing from that, and then the speakers work. What? What are we in the clampets? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, like it's, you know, stuck together with spit and adhesive tape. Well, you know, it's just like, oh, God, what was that? <laughs> I Yesterday, was it? I saw it, or did I hear it? I don't remember. God dang it. Mm-hmm. But someone had apparently um, plugged their power bar into itself and couldn't figure out why they couldn't turn their freaking computer on. Oh. I mean, seriously. You know, and there are, and I remember... Uh, years ago when I was um, 
mm. working at the the car dealership and I had called tech support about something with the service computers and why they couldn't download whatever whatever and so while we were waiting for an update to load on the computer I was chatting with the tech support guy and I mm. said, you know, I asked him some of the dumbest things that people would say. <laughs> and oh, my Lord, you know, you know, stuff like he would. And this was before you could do the team viewer and all that fun stuff. But he would say stuff like, OK, now you need to put your mouse on whatever icon and then click and that will open up the screen. And the person that they were talking to kept going it's not doing anything it's not doing anything and he said okay what exactly are you doing they were physically picking up the mouse and putting it on the screen over that icon that's the joke act yeah yeah maybe it's true i don't know well but you know what i do know what it's uh two minutes till that's true. That's true. Y'all been listening to the Dork Table here on RealLibertyMedia.com, Channel 3, and all the other RLMNM places all oh, over uh, in the interwebs. And well, um, I guess I'm going to be getting out of here here in just a little bit. Um, I, I, go I, I, I know. I'm going to go see my daughter. But uh, be sure to stick around because there's all kind of fun things going on this weekend, like tomorrow at noon, Grimner with the Blues and a rousing game of, of trivia in the chat. And uh, directly following him, Hal Anthony, who's going to take you behind the woodshed and open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass. And then tomorrow evening, I, no, I won't be back in time. Gary Ellen Gigi's boo with the road less traveled. So, hey, all kind of oh, cool yeah. stuff. Yeah. You have to go deliver furniture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm well, a furniture you have a nice mover. Trip. I am going to. I am going say to. Say hi to the monsters. Tell them your radio partner said to say hi. Okay. That ought to scare them in about anything. I will tell her that. 